I'm John Park, and I'm building a video game inspired, 3D printed, interactive robot sculpture. The character is Pathfinder from the video game Apex Legends. Now rather than build a simple 3D printed sculpture, I wanted to build this out of multiple parts and incorporate lots of electronics. And I know that I'll be able to do this using Sugru moldable glue. Let's see how I can pull all of this off and build a really cool robot sculpture. I've 3D printed out a whole bunch of different pieces here in order to build Pathfinder. In order for Pathfinder to be interactive and have some emotional range like he does in the game, I decided to build some electronics into the 3D printed parts. So what I'll have is a screen right at the center of the robot. And this is not only a screen, but it's also a touch screen and it's a microcontroller. This is the Pi Portal from Adafruit Industries. And I'm gonna send sound out of that into a little amplifier so that I can make some pretty loud sounds on this nice big speaker. I'm also going to use a little power boost converter that'll allow me to power the whole project as well as charge this big LiPo battery that'll be inside. And then a lot of these other parts are for things like resetting the board if necessary, uh, turning it on and off with a little switch. I'll have a volume knob called a potentiometer to change the volume of the sound effects. And then I've got a little perma proto board here that's gonna be used to solder all these parts together that need to be. Now, I designed the circuit with a little bit of trial and error and using some software called fritzing to diagram out what I wanted to do. Uh, and so I'm gonna follow this as a guide as I go ahead and solder together the circuits. Now that I've got all of the electronics assembled, I'm gonna start fitting the electronics into the 3D printed parts. Uh, the board and battery and speaker are kind of hanging loose here. And so for this, I decided instead of trying to figure out a mechanical assembly inside of the 3D model that would uh, print in place and then allow me to hook these up to it, I realized there's no reason to complicate matters and instead I'm gonna use a bit of Sugru in order to secure things. So I find Sugru really useful for both exterior things that we're gonna see and look beautiful, as well as some stuff that's not gonna be seen at all but can be used to simplify the build process. Okay, now I've got the excitement of having the main torso and electronics and screen for Pathfinder all put together. Now I'm gonna start building some of the accessories out. So Pathfinder has these cool canisters on his shoulders that I think are used to coil up his uh, grappling hook cables. To put those together, I'm just gonna use a small bead of Sugru running around the perimeter of those parts where they interface. All right, I have run into a little bit of a problem here, and I think I either had my measurements a little bit off when I was modeling uh, these two parts, or I didn't account for a little bit of uh, expansion on the different materials, because these are the shoulder sockets that are supposed to uh, be held in place just by friction. It's supposed to be a sort of a press fit but you can see uh, that's not gonna work for me. These are meant to only come in from the one side and they're going in from either side and pulling out. So I am going to have to try to fix that using a bead of Sugru along the inside. Sugru has been great on this build so far just for filling in gaps and for assembling parts, but I'm also gonna use it for some details. If we look at the original concept art 
for Pathfinder, I've got these three little red levers that are on these pouches in the front of the robot. I'm simply going to craft some small little nubs out of red Sugru and be able to apply that detail so that it pops with a little bit of color. Pathfinder has this really cool distinct single eye lens that glows. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do is actually use some black Sugru along the back of this LED to hold it to the white piece of acrylic. And then I'll be able to use Sugru to bond all of this and even attach this to the back side of the lens. And again, this is one of these cases where Sugru is kind of perfect for the job because it sticks to glass and there really isn't a lot uh, of choice when you need to adhere something to glass and then uh, also to plastic in this case as well as having something that conforms so nicely. And what I want to do now is one of my favorite tricks to do with Sugru, which is use it to embed magnets into projects so that things can click together. So you'll see here I've got this magnet embedded into a shoulder cup and here's one that I haven't uh, done this treatment to yet. So this is the shoulder cup that'll go on the other side. And then on this shoulder canister, what I've done is I've got a little hole in here and I have filled that with Sugru and then pressed the magnet into place. But the benefit of this is that you can then snap things into place and you can also reposition them a little bit through rotation. Now that I have Pathfinder's head attached to his little skinny neck that's under here, I'm gonna build the neck cowl that is on the character in the game. And it looks like it's sort of made of a rubber material or rubberized canvas, something like that. And so what I'm gonna do is use a little 3D printed form that I made to take up a lot of the volume here so I don't have to use a ton of Sugru. And then with that in place, I can now sculpt Sugru on top of that to create the final form. Well, I think it's time to do the final assembly, snap the parts together and try them out all in final form. So the first thing I'll do is snap on these collarbone sections, They're held in place with their magnets. And then same thing with the little take up reels for the grappling hook canisters. And now I'm gonna flip it on with the switch, keep that volume up high. High five, Pathfinder. That is awesome. Grappling makes things much easier. Try it sometime. I think I will. Good work. Let's remain friends. I hope you've enjoyed this build and the final result as much as I have. It's been really fun and satisfying to build a robot with such a great design, combining 3D printing, electronics, and sculpting with Sugru. For me, Sugru was the secret weapon in this kind of build because it allows me to combine different materials and parts and add some style along the way. I was able to use Sugru for mounting electronics, blocking light for the eye, seamlessly combining different 3D parts, strengthening things, and even adding some of these sculptural elements such as the neck cowl and the little levers on our canisters. Thanks so much for watching. I'm John Park, and this is my robot friend, Pathfinder.